In the model below, a support wire for a telephone pole is attached to the pole and anchored to a stake in the ground 15 feet from the base of the telephone pole. Actually, let's just measure this out. This is 15. And what else? What other information is this? does this give us? Jamel places a six foot wooden pole under the support wire parallel to the telephone pole such that one end of the pole is on the ground and the top of the pole is touching the support wire. So this is going to be six feet. Uh, and let's see here. He measures the distance between the bottom of the pole and the stake. In the ground so he measures the distance from the bottom of the pole and the stake in the ground okay but it but they did not tell us what that dimension is but he measured it okay Jamel says he can approximate how high the support wire uh, reaches to the telephone pole by using similar triangles explain why the triangles are similar so it's important to note that um, the problem description here says that the two poles are parallel. And if you recognize the two poles are parallel, then you should be able to recognize that the ground, both the ground and the wire, the support wire, they act as transversals to a pair of parallel lines. So therefore, these angles over here that are corresponding will have to be congruent. These angles will also have to be congruent. So therefore, we have a small triangle that's going to be similar to the big triangle. So let's write those observations down, right? So uh, both poles are parallel. the ground and wire acts as transversals to parallel lines. There will be, or there are, two pairs of corresponding angles congruent. Therefore, The small, the smaller triangle will be similar to the larger triangle. because of angle-angle theorem. Because the two triangles are similar if we know the dimensions of the smaller triangle and parts 
of the larger triangle we can then we may set up proportions to solve for the height of the telephone pole.